The story of the Portland building was that it had been a sick building and the idea of having a certification that actually tests the quality of the employee environment and has documentation and has regular updated testing to make sure that our light levels and our uh, air quality and our water is clean and clear and will provide a safe and positive healthy environment for our employees it was incredibly appealing to completely reverse that old story. One of the interesting things about well building certification is it focuses on people, focuses on the users. But really, what are the best choices in terms of lighting, the materials that we're bringing into the building, how we engage with one another, the way the city interacts with the staff that's there. It really, it puts the user in control of the space. We have a green building policy that requires us to go for LEED certification, and that's been a city practice for a long time. One of the elements of the project was upgrading all of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing facilities, the majority of which were, used to be housed on the, the second floor within the footprint of the building. So through this reconstruction process, we were able to effectively move all those facilities up to the roof, which had several benefits, uh, one being that we're pulling in cleaner air from the roof instead of 20 feet off of the bus mall. Secondly, we were actually able to reclaim about half of the second floor and use that as occupied space. It's really one of the found experiences of this building in the old building. You could get no views out to speak of on the second floor. Having the second floor now conferencing where all the conference rooms have glass fronts that look across the corridor to those beautiful windows on the exterior and then you're seeing the trees. There's just this sense of connection that every place we could connect the inside with the outside in a way that's respectful with the original intent of the building. The truth is, the good was in this building already. Buildings need care. To think that you build a building and never have to replace anything or repoint the stone or, or brick is silly. Buildings all need care and so does the Portland building. Recently talking to the designer that really had hands-on, on-site in 1982, making this project happen for years. She knew it was an important project and it was and it got published and it's so famous. But she also knew that there were so many things that were not happy about it. And all that needed to happen is that it just needed to be revealed with this next round of project. And I like to think about it that way. That's how I see buildings, they're not static things, they evolve. There was so much good done in 1982, we got to add some to it. Michael really believed that buildings should keep up with its time. What happens if I hire this famous architect and 10 or 15 years down the road, I need to make a change or I need to put on an addition? Is there going to be some issue because I'm touching the building? And Michael would say, no, you should keep it relevant. I would hope you to keep it relevant. I mean, society evolves, needs evolve. This could certainly be one of the first examples of what a new kind of preservation thinking could look like for this type of historic building. Sometimes change needs to be made in order to make a building more functional and last longer.